Um, so yesterday we began um, kind of basic division. Today we're thinking of understanding and solving division problems with a remainder using arrays and area models. So that sounds very complicated. We're gonna start off again with a picture. Our question again, if you're just getting out your math book, we are on page 93 so that you can follow along, page 93. All right, Chandra printed 38 photos to put into her scrapbook. If she can fit four photos on each page, how many pages will she use for her photos? So I'm gonna start off with just making rows of four. Um, one second. I'm going to make rows of four until I get to 38, okay? So work with me. We're gonna draw. Owen, do you have a question? No, sorry, when I was answering the question, I forgot to put it down. Oh yeah, nope, not answering it yet. Um, okay, so 38, we're making a picture of fours. So. There's one row, I'm at four. A second row, I'm now at a total of eight. A third row, I'm at a total of 12. 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, and it looks like I can do another four. I'm at 36. Can I make an entire row with four more in that row? I see Sophia shaking her head. Now I cannot make an entire row. I can only have two more, which will bring me to 38. So this is 38. If Shonda, we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine total rows where she um, has completely filled pages but then she has two more pages. So she's still going to use, I mean, not two more pages, one more page with two photos on it. She's going to use 10 pages, but one of those pages only has two photos on it, okay? So Chandra uses 10 pages for her photos because she has nine full pages and one half page. This goes back to our discussion from yesterday when we talked about the vans taking the kids to the beach. And we said, oh, well, um, it has to be six vans because that's the it's in there equally. And there's three left over. While those three kids still have to get to the beach, this is the same thing. These photos still have to go to the book and be put in the book, but it's a half page.
All right, give me a thumbs up if you are ready to move on to the next page. I see Charlotte and Mason and Hank and Sophia. Eliza shaking her head no. She's still copying down her answer. Anna, thank you. All right, I'm going to give another minute. If you're all done, just get some stretches in. You know, be ready to go. Charlotte, real quick. Are we going to do um <clears throat> the uh, uh, and the like, like what we did yesterday, where you um told us to do um like um five and six as a group, just us. We might. Like, we'll see. We'll see. I know you guys do yeah. like that, but we'll see. Depends. All right, about twenty seconds. Chandra uses 10 pages for her photos because she has nine full pages in one half page. Awesome. All righty. Moving on to page 95. We see a grid. Um, and we see it's like a table. There's two, one problem, one problem. I'm going to zoom in. Normally, if we were in the classroom and we were doing this lesson, I would be giving you graph paper and we'd be working on some of these problems. I don't have that option right now. So we are going to work through this problem set together using the graph paper that's on there. So we want to think first, our first question says, solve division, division using an array. So you can think back to third grade, your arrays are those multiplication models where kind of like what I did on this one, where you have circles going down and it has like so many going down and so many across. Um, thinking of that, 18 divided by six. What do you guys think we could do for our array? Thinking of six times something will give us 18. Olive. Um, two. Two would fit with 18 if, I, if my number was nine. So thinking, oh. uh, yep. Have another answer? Sorry. No, you're fine. Um, Owen, what do you think Three. the answer is? Three, yes. So I can do three going down and then it's six across. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And I would fill in my array. And then this is where we're going to come up with uh, some vocabulary that we're going to learn about division. Our first word being quotient, say quotient to yourself. You're going to see it a lot. Um, quotient is the answer to a division problem. Just like a product is the answer to multiplication, sum is your answer to Addition and difference is your answer to subtraction. Our quotient will tell us what is our answer to a division problem. So we just said 18 divided by six. Well, our missing number is three. So our answer is three. Do we have any remainder or leftover pieces? Um, Charlotte, do we have any leftover pieces? So, well, we actually, we have, because um, you have, you put down three, but you, you have six more. 
So we have like six more. Well, Charlotte, think of this as three times six. Okay. So if I'm doing three times six, do I have any hanging out to the side? Or are all they are they all six groups of three? Oh. Yeah. There's no okay. remainder. We would put a no. zero there. Okay. We would put a zero there. Um, all righty. The next one that we're looking at is doing it using an area model. So we're going to draw that same array, but now I'm using my grid paper. So I'm going down three over six. And I already have my array. I mean, my area model. I have six, three. Can we show 18 divided by six with just one rectangle? Meaning, is there any leftover pieces? There's no leftover pieces, so we can say, yes. We've made it with one rectangle. Division, remember, is just what we call an inverse or the opposite of multiplication. So if we know our multiplication facts, we will get to know division very well. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to move on to two. Thanks, Owen. Thanks, Eliza. Thanks, Kira. Thanks, Sophia. Thanks, Hank. Thanks, Anna. Thanks, Olive. Thanks, Mason. Great. Thank you for all those friends who um, answered my question. I'm going to move on to 19 divided by 6. So let's make I don't really know what I can multiply for 19. So instead, I'm going to make rows of six until I get to 19. So here's one row of six. I'm at six. Now I have another row of six. I'm at 12. And a throw third row of six gets me to 18. Can I make another full row of six? No. So my quotient, again, is three, because we were able to make three full rows. Quotient three, remainder, one. There is one left over to get me to 19. So just like we did on this top one, I'm going to copy my exact rectangle, the one, the part of my rectangle that's equal which is three by six. And then I'm going to draw that one little remainder down at the bottom, connected to my top rectangle.
Now, the question is, can we show 19 divided by six with just one rectangle? Or did we have to add any little thing? I see all of saying, no, we cannot. So I would write no, because we have a remainder. No, I cannot. Give me a thumbs up when you're ready to turn the page. Thank you. Thank you. See lots of friends ready to move on. Okay. So we're on the back of that first page and there isn't any grid paper on this one. There's not any grid paper, but it doesn't change what we just did on the first one. They've already done a for you. It says solve using an array and an area model. The first one is done for you. Your example is 25 divided by 2. So they made rows of 2, I mean columns of 2, until they got to 25 and they had one remainder. So they drew their rectangle with its little remainder. Let's try that with three. 29 divided by three. So we're gonna make little columns of three until we get to 29. So as I work, you work. So first column, that's three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 29. So I didn't make an entire column on that last one. So how many full columns did I make? Fast. How many full columns did I make? Uh, Charlotte, how many full columns did I make? You made eight columns. I did. That are all in three. Yeah. So we can, so I don't have to write out quotient all the way. I'm kind of, eh, I don't really want to. I write just Q. Q equals, that's quotient. Q equals eight. Remainder, that's R. How many do I have left over? Thank you. I see Hank. He's got two. He's showing me two on his fingers. Two. All right. So for our picture, wait. I'm sorry, Charlotte. Your quotient is not eight. You have to do, it's nine. Because I was just thinking about three times eight would give me 24. Why is it nine though? Because there's nine columns. You might be just missing one. I thought you meant that are all, you said all of them that are three, though, that are full. I, I thought. Said one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have nine full columns. I think you just didn't get all of them drawn. Yeah, maybe I skipped one Yeah, that's them. fine. I caught it. All right, sorry. No no, you're fine. No problem. All right. So we have then our drawing is three down, nine across, three down, nine across, and then just a little two left over. 
And I can just kind of draw it like little squares, one, two. I'm gonna do one more with you. And then I'm gonna break you into groups so that you can do five and six in a small group. So if I look at number four, 4a is 22 divided by five. I'm making columns of five until I get to 22. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm at 10, 15, 20, and I can't make a full column. So my quotient is how many? My quotient is how many olive? Um, five. Not the five is how many is in each column. How many columns do we have? Oh, sorry. Um, uh, six. It should be less than that. If I do one, two, three, four, five, one, oh, two, three, four. four. How many do I have? Four. Four. And then your remainder is two. Okay. And so I would draw four going down, I mean, five going down, four across. Five by four, and I have one, two remaining. Um, I'm going to be putting you in groups just very shortly. Um, to do five and six, okay? Um, and I think you guys, when you talked with each other, are going to get this, um, you're gonna really understand it. I think you guys are doing a great job with it so far. Um, so I'm gonna get these groups sorted out. And we have 15 people and in each group is going to be five students. Mm -hmm. One has to have six. Uh, it shouldn't be because if we have 15 I and I divide by three, I should have five. And I, I do. All right, so go to your room. Charlotte, Eliza, Hank, Kira, Owen. Room two, Lucas, Mason, Scotty, Sophia, Taya. Um, actually, let me switch just one. I'm going to switch a couple people. All right, let me start that over. Room one, Charlotte, Eliza, Hank, Kira, Scotty. Room two, Lucas, Mason, Owen, Sophia, Taya. Room three, Anna, Dylan, James, Jackson, Olive. Okay? Everybody should pull their own weight, meaning everybody should be participating. And you're doing five and six. I'm gonna give you three minutes per problem, meaning you have six minutes to solve. I'm gonna jump around to your rooms, okay? Taya and Jackson, join the rooms. Taya and Jackson.
Tayan Jackson. I'm going to put you in the waiting room until you answer. Taya and Jackson, I added you to a breakout room and you didn't join it. So I put you in the, um, all right, thank you. Uh, Taya, you're in room two. Okay, dokey. So I'm going to cover up my answers. I'm going to call on somebody to share for five. Number five, our question was 43 divided by four. Who would like to share what their group came up with for um, 43 divided by four. Eliza, how about you share? What's your quotient? Um, our quotient was 10. Yes, and what's your remainder? Three. Three. All right, so that's what you should have looked like. Quotient 10. Remainder three. Great job. 59 divided by seven. What's your quotient? What's your remainder? Olive, what'd you guys come up with? Um, my group came up with um, quotient eight, remainder three. Correct. Quotient eight, remainder three. How are we feeling about uh, beginning multiplication? Excellent. Um, you might feel a little, uh, still, it's okay. We're going to continue this. Tomorrow you'll do the exit ticket. Right now, what I would like for everybody to do is to sign up, uh, sign Sign on to Zern. We're going to do 20 minutes. So from now until 2 o'clock, please don't ask to log off for Zern. We're going to stay on until 2 o'clock. I'll turn my mute on so it's not kicking back to Zoom, back and forth. And my hope is that you can, everybody is at least on lesson 12 right now. If you weren't before, I've set you to go to lesson 12. If you aren't there already, I mean, if you're not past that, that's where you're beginning. And remember, by next Friday, you have to be done with 21. Charlotte, do you have a question? What's your question? My question is about math that we just did. So my question is, so, I, why can we not count, so let's just say we count by 4 all the way to um, 43, and there's like, I don't know, like, um, there's two circles left, let's just say that, and if, why can we not count those two circles, as, like we said? Left over, because you're thinking of where division is all about equal groups of something. So if I have a group of six and there's a group of seven, we do not have the same amount of people. 
So in order for it to be equal, we would both have to have six in our group and then there's one left over, okay? That's a good question. All right, everybody, I'm gonna be logging on to my um, Go Guardian to see that everybody's going on to Zern right now. And like I said, we're gonna be on till two o'clock. So I'll even put on my timer so you know how much time you have to spend on Zern this afternoon. Just 20 minutes is all I'm asking for. And it'll go hand in hand with what your exit ticket is tomorrow. And I, I really appreciate all those friends who are already on there. Thank you, it looks like everybody's there. Anna, you don't have to go to Clever for Zern. You just type in Zern in your um, Zern.org and it should be saved. Yeah, I forgot that. Yep. Yeah. 